Well, I am so excited <laughs> to introduce you to our newest team member here at Northern News Now. Very happy to say Laura Lee is my new co-anchor for the 6 and 10 p.m. newscast. As you no doubt noticed in the first 10 minutes of the so oh, show, she's extremely talented. So sweet. It's great to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be a part of this team and to be sitting next to you, my yeah. new co-anchor, our talented journalist for sure. I'm a huge fan of Dan's. And I'm just excited to get started and to get uh, to know the Northland. Yeah, I, the Northland is definitely excited to get to know <laughs> you as well. So let's, let's start that out here. You are no stranger to Minnesota. No. You've been a journalist in Minnesota for more than a decade now. Yeah, for more than uh, 30, 15 years, actually. I started uh, my work in the Twin Cities at KSTP. I was working a lot of my roles behind the scenes, which gave me a huge perspective on the importance of what our guys in productions, what they do. Um, and then I got my foot in the door down in southern Minnesota working for um, ABC6 News in Rochester, Minnesota. I was there for 13 years as an evening anchor and reporter uh, covering all the stories, big major topics, from healthcare, of course, with Mayo Clinic down there, uh, to big legislative stories, and of course, local stories, because these communities all have amazing stories to share. And I was lucky enough to meet your whole crew earlier today. <laughs> they stopped by. You've got four great kids. Yeah, when he's talking about a crew, he's talking about my four babies. <laughs> <laughs> I do, my crew. We have four of us, uh, a 18-year-old, a 16-year-old, uh, and now a 14-year-old who turned 14 today, and then I have an 8-year-old eight eight -year little guy, too. We had a birthday party here at the we station We did. I know. The station made us feel so welcome, um, like a family already. So sweet. And they celebrated my son's 14th birthday with us today. So yeah. he had cake and everything. So sweet. Well, you mentioned you, you're a Minnesota native. Yes. And, and you've spent uh, the last 13 years working down in Austin, Rochester area. What, what makes you want to stay here in Minnesota, continue to work here? You know, I love Minnesota, everything about Minnesota, from uh, the culture of Minnesota, because Minnesota has such unique cultures. Mm -hmm. Every region you, you live in, um, southern Minnesota has a unique culture, the Twin Cities metropolitan area has their own unique culture, and then northern Minnesota with the gorgeous Northland, God's country they call it, it's just <laughs> yeah. beautiful. And so I'm excited to learn all about it. And um, you know, family is where the heart is, and that's where mm -hmm. I've always kept my career. I followed a very unique path where I just made sure my kids were my priority, and so staying in Minnesota, staying close to family was, was something very important to me. And you are, you're here with us in person yes. tonight, but then you're going to be taking some time away to, to attend to some important I know. Business. What a tease, right, guys? I'm so, <laughs> you know, uh, again, family is at the heart of everything that I yeah. do. Um, they are my prior priority. And so we're going to be in Rochester until my daughter, my 18-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. graduates from high school, which is next month. Uh, so just a few more weeks, and I'll be rem uh, working remotely, um, still covering news that matters to all of you, um, and being a part of our team, for sure, for the next couple weeks. And then we'll make the move up here, and I'll be sitting next to this guy. Looking for forward the, to it. <laughs> every night at 6 and 10, so yeah. tune in. Family first, for sure. Yeah. And uh, so Laura and I actually worked in the same market. I we both know. worked in Rochester yeah. at the same time, different stations. Yeah. So we didn't really cross paths, but you had a reputation down there. Oh, gosh. And it was, Laura is as fine a journalist oh, as you. there is in the state of Minnesota, but an even better person. Oh, thank you. So... And you know, this guy wants to talk about me. Honestly, you're right. We worked opposite teams, mm -hmm. opposite stations, and yet we both re we both knew each other's reputations. Like, he is such a great journalist, too, so I'm very excited to be working with You're too this kind. I, I'm <laughs> excited to get things started about a month from now. I You'll know. be back. <laughs> I will be back, but I'll be here in, in small uh, increments every yeah. day covering stories and, and making sure that we uh, do we do service to this community. The beginning of an exciting era yeah, here very at Northern exciting. News Now. Yeah. Well, let's get to some weather, too, with that. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, very, very excited to have Laura on our team. Uh, just want to make something clear, too. No one is leaving. I'm getting messages, people asking, uh, is Dan leaving? Is Briggs leaving? Like, no, no one's leaving. We're, we're just adding to our already amazing team, so you don't have to say goodbye to anybody. Best of both worlds. All right, let's take a look at what we got.